Hello, and welcome to Stonehenge Therapeutic Community. I'd like to introduce you to our residential treatment program. Congratulations on taking this important first step in reclaiming your life. Recognizing that you need help to deal with your addiction isn't always easy, but you're here watching this video and that shows incredible insight and initiative. Stonehenge has a unique model of treatment called a therapeutic community. In the therapeutic community, the community is the treatment and everything is therapy, meaning that you learn from one another and from every situation you encounter within the program. We emphasize the expertise and knowledge held within our residents. Residents use the community first before approaching staff for support. When new residents first come into Stonehenge's residential program, they start in the orientation phase. This phase lasts two weeks. The goal of orientation is to provide the resident, as well as the staff team, the opportunity to determine if the program is a good fit. This phase gives you time to understand what you can expect while you're a part of the Stonehenge community and decide if it's right for you. After arriving on property, you would be introduced to your buddy. You did really well uh, during your two weeks, you know, I didn't uh, get too many fines, so uh, that was pretty good. And uh, I see you stepping it up and uh, congratulations. A buddy is a senior resident in the program who guides you throughout the orientation phase and offers advice and direction to help absorb all of the information you'll receive. They'll help you unpack your bags, settle into your room and go over procedures. Your buddy will help you understand that Stonehenge is a safe place where you're amongst people with similar struggles and goals. Remember, your buddy has been where you are on that very first day. More importantly, your buddy is there to answer any questions you may have regarding the program. At Stonehenge, there are no stupid questions. Orientation can be confusing, frustrating, and even overwhelming at times. But hang in there because it will also be a very positive, empowering, and emotionally awakening experience that will change your life. Sometimes by the end of orientation, it may feel as if no one really understands what you're going through, but be assured you are not alone. We have a motto here at Stonehenge, only I can do it, but I can't do it alone. Before coming to Stonehenge, I didn't participate in anything too healthy. Um, Coming here, I, I need to participate in everything, program areas and stuff, uh, workforce, AT, bookings. I need to participate to the best of my ability and be accountable. <clears throat> and by doing that, um, it helps me better prepare myself for when I leave Stonehenge. And you won't be alone. You'll find that most of your day will be taken up with group and individual sessions with the direct purpose of helping you deal with the issues you were trying to hide with your substance use. Most of the community of residents at Stonehenge have been right where you are, right now, and they want to support you. Sometimes just being an ear or a shoulder may be exactly what you need to get to tomorrow. With the help of the Stonehenge community, you will take charge of your recovery and change your life in ways you can't imagine. Once you've completed the orientation phase, you move into the core of the Stonehenge program called Active Treatment. Active Treatment is the heart of the program where, with hard work, real change happens. Active treatment is divided into three parts. With each part, you get the chance to practice your new skills in more challenging situations. Each part of active treatment also offers more outings and therefore more opportunities to practice your skills at home. Regular visits help your family, friends, and children keep in touch and maintain their support. For those who have loved ones looking for additional support, Stonehenge also offers a monthly friends and family support group. In active treatment, Residents work with their peers and group therapists to create treatment plans with goals that address individual needs. Treatment plans will help you understand the root causes of your addiction and build coping strategies to deal with cravings, urges, and potential relapses in effective and appropriate ways. In order to move from one part of active treatment to the next, each resident must be actively participating in the program, working towards change in their set goals, and have the support of their fellow residents in the therapeutic community to move forward. Residents come to understand that this is a pay-as-you-go program. Simply put, you will get out of this program exactly what you put into it. Those who have participated in the Stonehenge program say workforce therapy is one of the most important components of their treatment. Stonehenge has no cooks, cleaners, or maintenance staff. Through workforce therapy, residents take care of the place where they live, for example, by cooking, cutting the grass, cleaning, or painting. It's during this time 
when you are working alongside one or two other residents that you can do your best recovery work. You get to practice the strategies you learn in your groups, but in a more social setting, so you can learn to act and react differently. This is a key component of the therapeutic community treatment model. You can test your new skills, fail, try again, and learn more, all before having to put them in place before you return home. With the practice of workforce therapy, you'll notice changes in the way you think, act, and behave, and you will begin to notice the results of your efforts. Another important aspect of the Stonehenge program is healthy leisure development. Much like how workforce therapy helps you function effectively in everyday life and appreciate the value of hard work, activity therapy helps you understand the important balance of having fun too. Activities include sports and recreation like volleyball, basketball, or billiards, leisure activities like movie nights or playing games, and social activities like barbecuing and theme nights. The last phase of residential treatment is re-entry, which is the only phase that is co-ed. In this phase, the re-entry facilitator will guide you in planning your transition to life after Stonehenge. You'll be part of a re-entry group with residents in the same stage of treatment as you. Whether you're looking for education opportunities, finding housing or employment, or just wondering how you're going to cope with moving back to your life with family and friends, the re-entry phase will help you with this transition. Trips to community resources like the library or social service sites provide further testing grounds to put your recovery into practice. During re-entry, you have outings every weekend, so you spend almost as much time out of the program as in it, which prepares you for graduation. Now you have a good overview of the Stonehenge Residential Program. Is it right for you? Only you will know. With the two-week orientation phase and a supportive staff and residential community, this will be your best chance to gain control of your life. While it may feel overwhelming at times, the program will give you the tools and strategies to get through the program and manage your recovery in the community. You are worth the effort, and you may even find that you are the miracle you've been waiting for.